When people think of Sade, they think of sex or how erotic her face is. Possibly the texture of the skin under her left butt cheek. I think of how my dad sat listening to her through our 1990s stereo at its highest volume, waiting for the bass line like his heart might not beat without it. My father rarely caught it. Lover's Rock played in our studio apartment like elevator music. I got used to tuning it out. My father only wanted to hear one song. I don't remember the day he stopped trying, but I remember noticing. When I was 15, he taught me how to use my hands to check if the dryers were still running. I almost corrected him before I realized why I was a part of his routine. The same reason why my TV was always closed captioned. The reason my handwriting is so clear. The very same reason our doors have lights on them. The reason our home phone had a typewriter attached to it. The one time I've ever heard my father sing was at the end of Cooley High. He knew the entire ending so well that he stopped just before the song did with absolutely no cues. I wanted him to hear it again. I wanted to show him hip hop. I wanted him to hear my voice change. He was mostly deaf before I reached puberty. And hearing, and hearing aids never worked real well. It's a procedure, but it might not even work, let alone sound the same. I'd give him my ears if I could. I wouldn't have minded being born without him if I could give him a couple years with Dilla or Pete Rock. I'd trade my ears in just so he could hear Lovers Rock from cover to cover one more time. I dreamt about laying there next to him on an operating table, head wrapped in gauze, my eardrums vibrating under his temples to doomsday, when you were wondering why seducing me was so hard. It wasn't. You had me and I'm not driving you home. <laughs> I would have done it. I could have fucked you. I had my favorite fingers on the skin under your left butt cheek. Your face is exotic. Then I heard her voice. Drifting through your hallways like Banshee. See, you had me until I heard her in your kitchen. If you've ever yelled at your parent and wondered if they were just ignoring you, that's why I decided to go home. Hmm. Thanks.